Alright, let's dive right into it. Since this is- I'm gonna try to take advantage of this to get everyone back to levels. I decided to just leave Mr. Vist in the box and just use the purified- the six purified Pokemon, or should I say the five purified Pokemon I'm most likely to keep on the team at this point, and Ziggy, because uh, you know what, it has pickup, why not get a few extra items along the way? Wouldn't mind even leveling up Ziggy, but that'll probably just be an off-screen thing. So, let's get into it. If I recall correctly, it seems like they changed changed it so that Vander's area is all ghost theme. My current theory is that every area has a typing. And it really is shaping up that Vander's theme is ghost, especially because by the third trainer they all had the same exact <laughs> Pokemon as the first trainer. It's a pretty solid level for the first area. You may not be able to get as much mileage out of yeah, that's the thing that happens every time I start a new recording session. I just think I would have looked into it by now. Yeah, I'll probably skip these first few unless something amazing happens, because it's shaping up to be the same exact trainers with the same exact Pokémon as when we came to Mount Battle for plot reasons. So, fine. Less reasons to talk, that more reasons to play without talking is better for me, and not talking in those time frames that I don't got anything to say makes editing easier on me. Really, really wish that we could get something stronger than Peck for Taylor. I'm starting to feel the monkey paws effect with Tail and Swift, where just like, we have the OG Gale Wing ability, but literally all we have to use it is frickin' Peck. Am I getting deja vu, or did I use the monkey paw comparison already? Mmm. Oh cool, they actually refresh your health after every battle. It's been so long I forgot that was a feature of Mount Battle in particular. So... What did Chris have again? Uh, more Taylor fodder, apparently. Unless someone wants to just sneak out the dark type moves. I didn't even think about it in advance, but this would be a perfect way to get Tail and Swift back up to speed. Which is really helpful considering uh, I kind of been slacking on Tail and Swift. <laughs> well, that was a completely pointful exchange. Totally not send a very butcher sarcasm. Oh, here we go. Not who I was expecting to get Ice Punch, but I guess that was just a warning shot. Well, good thing that I'm getting rid of you first and foremost. Come on, I, got, I know Duck Skull is probably one of the more bulky ghost types, but Congenerate, I'm really counting on you to finish this off. Not even close. Good to see the parallelization and putting in work, though. And Growl. I feel like the, it's possible those Ice Punches might have been a little bit more devastating if... I wasn't lowering attack in the process. Kind of 
kind of going to miss the fact that it's not... I think it's a situation where I'm missing the fact that it's Gen 3 mechanics, because I can't just have them send out their Pokémon immediately to have the attack drop. Growl feels a little bit of a waste when it's just a single target. Then again, I'm pretty sure he had only two Pokémon anyway, so... We'll see how it pans out. Yeah. I just wish I had something more- the downside about this matchup is that I wish I had something more viable to use than Peck. Then again, Tails is a little under level. Maybe once we get- as we get Tails and Swift back and caught up with the rest of the team, we'll finally get something. Two down, who knows how many more to go. I'm not gonna say 98, because I'm no fool. We're not going all that way in this session. I would say 8 to go, but who knows, I mean, if I'm feeling pretty good, maybe I'll go for one more. One more Pokémon in the Purification Chamber ready to go. That's cool in and of itself. Oh! This seems new. I definitely don't remember the Haunter. Sableye is kind of pushing me too. Oh, that's right, we have Fairy type in this gen. I was gonna say, we might be kind of screwed because uh, that's a Dark Ghost type. Uh, what would be a good way to get Swimmer's Feet in, though? I guess start with focusing on the Haunter. Who uh, getting here? Peck's not really. I guess like glorify quick attack at this point. It's gonna do a diddly squat. Uh, do we lower attack or evasion? Oh, cool. It's not Tom Swift. Oh, we're really gonna play this sort of game. We're really going for what? I guess I should just be lucky that it... Oh, okay, it did affect both of us. I forgot Sable I can learn Magic Bounce. I think it is a single fist mega, but maybe they gave it a hidden ability later on. Ugh. So, Talon Swift is... What you're telling me is Talon Swift is completely useless for this fight. Tail Swift is going to be more of a detriment to me than a help. Uh, okay, actually, you can just pack the. You can pack, so that's good. Okay, y your combo is becoming very clear. I kind of think I. Maybe I should have gotten out while I could, but I don't really got a better dark type option in this current setup of this current team. Wow, wow. This is just mean! <laughs> Third trainer in here and things are already getting freaking ugly. Alright, so this is useless. Um I Might as well paralyze it. I can't leave until I get rid of the haunter, so. This feels like the most effective use of my Pokemon's turn. At least I made the right call of just trying to get rid of that thing as soon as possible. You know, if I was feeling a bit more sociable today, this would be a prime opportunity. Well, if I wasn't too busy just reacting to all the BS that <laughs> this guy's been giving to me. You just casually talk about random things, but again, 90% of the reason I'm even doing this is because I'm you know, a bit tired today. Oh, I had an antidote in my collection, and I was just sitting on it this whole time. Yeah. No, let's get Swimmer's Bee out here. You have to play rough. You're the best option. I got... I might have to stop thinking of this as purely an experience grind. A bit sooner than I was expecting. I guess as long as Sandal Swift doesn't die and just continues to get the experience to get caught back up, that's all I can really... care for. Getting pretty lucky with 
all these drops I've noticed. So it's kind of just been more of a chill day for me in general. Going against Thanksgiving because I've had so much time off this week to actually do stuff like this, but playing Pokemon XG always just got caught on the wayside of other things. I can't be too mad because, like, I edited some Golden Sun videos yesterday and did the recordings for a showcase of my current, of the current progress of Sweet Expedition. Like, that video is so big, I decided to split it off into a four-parter and just spread it out over the next couple of months. And I think that'll be good, because if nothing else, it'll buy me some time to actually make actual progress with Sweet Expedition to be able to showcase more in the future. Now let's just teach everyone a U-turn, why not? I'll wait. If I don't get a better flying type move by level 20, then I'll consider replacing Peck with Flame Charge, because just having that weak of a move is just getting too old that the ability is not even worthwhile. Especially because I already have Extreme Speed, which does the same thing, but is stronger. Wow, we're already getting into Gengar at the fourth battle. Mount Battle doesn't play around. Maybe holding off on this was a smarter idea. Well, and they're both, and of course it's the ghost types that are both poison type. So... Curse Body and Levitate. Um, I'm just, I am not liking my feel with Swimmers to be out here. Do I really gotta go back to Congenerate? Oh, it does have Shadow Tag. For some reason I thought I had Cursed Body. This was the exact situation that I was afraid was gonna happen the moment I saw a Gengar. Cool. Well... I guess we're just stuck with this and... Maybe... I should have pushed to get getting rid of Flame Charge a little sooner. Well, at least now I can swap a Pokemon in. I definitely appreciate getting that off first try, alright. So, since you don't have Levitate, you definitely be weak to ground, but... Who could I swap in to actually... Spam both those? The answer is no one, because of the Cursed Body Gengar is still out here. You know what? I'm gonna get on in here, Congenerate. I didn't think I'd have to rely on the experience share this soon. But we're getting outpaced pretty quickly. Perfect. I kind of wonder if it was even worth going for the Aqua Jet on the same Pokemon. Better safe than sorry when it comes to taking out, though, I suppose. Now we can focus on the Gengar. A bit scary to have a fully evolved Pokemon on the field here, but this low level, Gengar has always been more of a frail boy, anyways. I don't think it'll go down. As easy as the Haunter, but this should do at least half health. Perfect. And it's still asleep. So, pretty much got this in the bag. Um, I guess, just in case, I can't swap out or get experience. I, even if I had revives, which I don't think I. I don't know if I do. I think I wasted them all in the Cypher Lab. I can, like, arrive. This is just so much experience for Talon Swift to be missing out on. It's kind of saddening. Oh, Hidden Power. I don't think that's normally part of Okay, this has to be a custom move pool, because one, pretty sure Eevee, Eevee line doesn't get Hidden Power normally. 
to you, it's just too perfect of a coincidence that we've got freaking got the freaking ice hidden power. Way too perfect of a coincidence. The problem is just what moves I want to get rid of though, because I definitely want this coverage. But uh, if it was for the fact that we were going against all these ghost trainers, it's my only dark option. But <sighs> all these other moves are so good though. I don't want to get rid of Hyper... Uh, I think out of all these, Thunder Wave would be the most likely to be tm -able. I'm gonna regret this because Paralyzation has saved my hide a couple times, but I... Worry if I don't take this now, when am I gonna get a chance to... get it. Like, if, we were, to, if we were anywhere but here, I would have gotten rid of Bite. Oh, don't. S you are too kind, sir. I don't think I'm above area one. Where is my experience share? Did I just imagine that? I didn't leave in the PC, did I? Well, so. Well, I guess Talon Swift, you can just. keep swap swapping it. We'll get you that experience you need to catch up one way or another, I can promise you that. Oh cool, oh goody good. Another Haunter Gengar combo. Just when I was thinking, maybe I'll be able to, it's okay I don't have the experience here, maybe I can swap swap this time? Um... Well, maybe I can spam evasion and hope to win. No! <laughs> this tree just loves to repeat itself. Oh. Let me just see. I have one revive. It's the even though this is a dairy, this is a completely unplot relevant. Oh my god, I just realized you have a full team. I was gonna say it's a it's not a plot relevant event, it'd be a complete waste to waste a revive, but uh, I'm gonna be so mad at myself if I just let all that experience go to waste. Guy is just. I don't even know if I'm gonna get to that point. This guy's kind of brutal as is. I guess you can go out, Ziggy. I just. I wanted to get talents with some experience from one of these battles. Maybe I'll. Maybe the game will let me buy a revive with battle points or something. I refuse to fight, take down two Gengars, and not have Talon Swift get any experience from all of it. Plus, it helped. This is probably the one chance to help get Ziggy back on the field. And uh, Mount Battle doesn't play around. Ziggy's gonna have to start pulling his weight too if he wants to. Add, if we actually want to get through this in one piece. So, see a growl. We're going for physical attack, so I'm not sure if that'd be too helpful. If I helping hand the bite, would that be enough to take out a mystery fist? Um, probably not, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Because my other alternative is protect, but maybe be better off waiting until the haunter actually wakes back up. Because that would actually hurt. Oh man, it's so close. And this would probably be a good situation to have Talon Swift come in and do some work, but... You know what? 
this is crazy enough of an idea to work. Because assuming that Mr. Vest doesn't get knocked out, I kind of don't want to waste a bite. I don't want to waste a bite. I don't poke one that low of health. I guess I should be thankful that didn't wasn't worse. Well, that backfired <laughs> incredibly. Now, do I get Ellie in here? Or, I mean, do we swap talents? I'm scared that I'm gonna send talents with and she's, he's gonna get just get knocked out again, but... The options I have aren't exactly great. Because I have priority peck. I do have Spore on the Shroomish here. I, I forgot I never even came up with a name for the Shroomish. Uh, but Tans really want to get Tan Swift some experience. But Tan Swift can't get experience if he gets knocked out. What are your moves again? Are they all... You have Rock Tomb. That's good enough for me. Actually, I'm going to take my chances of trying to finish you off with that, and then Bite can finish you. I think you're doing pretty good. I mean, I did waste an item on Talon Swift, but... I feel like the experiences would be well worth it. Yeah. Okay, if that's the game you want to play... I was going to just finish you off anyways. The only problem is I can already see it coming that he sends out another Gengar. Oh, that's close. Well, the down the problem is that curse kind of solidifies the fact that mm, there's only three Pokemon left. Do I chance it and try to just get as much damage as I can before going down, or do I try to save Congenerate for later? Oh, Swimmer B is already knocked out, so so much for that plan. Mm. I'm not crazy, right? Spore wasn't always a five power point move. I I kind of get why you would want to change that, but it's still a change. <sighs> kind of like dampers my plans a little bit. Who's the bigger threat? Um, Sableye might be harder to actually do damage to. Oh, I completely forgot about Fake Out. Ugh. Well, really, uh, one. I guess it's kind of dumb that I forgot about magic bounce that quickly, but things are not. Things could be going uh, better. I'll be just right on the nose here. I do not feel in a good position right now. Maybe we won't actually even clear the first 10 floors. Right. You know what? You're already paralyzed. You're not going to be doing that much damage. Let's just go for it. That's a fun how do you do. <sighs> I 
guess this is just the everyone hates shroomish floor. We just need to get something. Uh, I'm thinking we can break the whole item for the whole not use item thing. Besides, like some of these items I'm never gonna use anyways. Of course I don't have anything for burn when I was just saying it'd be a good time to use up burn heals in that. I just feel way too invested into this fight to lose now. Oh come on! This is it, huh? I'm just gonna get completely bodied and have my have my revive be completely wasted. That's how it's gonna go down. I was gonna say, if you were doing that to Tam Swift before they even came on the field, I was gonna call out cheating and hacking right then and there. Alright, so... But the fact that he has Thunder Punch is scary because that means that I am in deep do. Mag- okay, Magic Bounce, yeah, don't forget about Magic Bounce. Um, I believe Ghost resists Grass, which is really unfortunate. Because... That Thunder Punch is definitely coming my way. Uh, I don't really know if I got any better options, though. I think I'll swap into Ellie predicting the Thunder Punch. Because if nothing... It feels like a waste of time, but... If I can just stall them out with Leech Seed, at least until Shroomish is in a better position, then I can work with that. And more importantly, just Tam Swift got on the field, so I have to, at the very least, take these guys out. Otherwise, this whole trip to Mount Battle has been completely in vain. Eh, what am I gonna use a potion anyway? Uh, actually, would it be smarter to use on Tail- No, because... No point in healing up Tail and Swift until that Thunder Punch user gets out of here. Well, it's not resisted, but it's also not doing a lot of damage either. So... Don't know exactly what to do. At least I got a Leaf Seed so it'll go down eventually. But I'm not sure if I have the endurance to last that long. Okay. Trick Room is off. Maybe I'll stay in and assume that they just want to go for Trick Room again. Oh, I'm a fool! It played rough on you this entire time. Not that it's gonna do too much because I'm burned, but... Let's see, it's, a, it's at least damage. I really want, really thinking that. Really tempted to swap back into Talents with just to predict that whole Shadow Ball in the face, but Thunder Punch is scary. If 
I stay in- Oh! I was gonna say, if I stay in, I can use Ice Charge to finish it off, but I completely forgot about Leaf Seed. <laughs> Never thought I would say this, but Leaf Seed really came in in a pinch. Alright, so level 19. Still no flying moves on the horizon. That's unfortunate. I feel like I swear, if the game's designed a way where there's not even flying type TMs, Definitely just to spite me out using tail up there. I'll be a tiny bit salty. Alright. Um, surely you don't have magic bounce. This fight is slowly but surely becoming more manageable. I use more items than I would like to admit, but. One of those items was just completely wasted because I was stubborn and wanted experience on my Pokémon. Right, Burn does damage. I am just... screwed and out of the picture after this. At least I get the Spore despite like being paralyzed and all that. It's good, because that's... Probably gonna be a key factor that actually allows me to get through this, especially because I'm gonna be down to a Pokemon that my only offensive option left is frickin' Peck. I'm gonna just swap now, because again, my only offensive option is Peck if I lose Shroomish here, and that is not gonna be fun for anyone involved. Speaking of no fun allowed, I think it's finally time to give Double Team, Double Team some action. Perfect. Mm, do I go for another Double Team or... The potions I can buy more of at least. That was a fast wake up. <laughs> Thank goodness. I feel like my main strategy of surviving is just going to be as annoying as possible, because... Six of you- oh... Of course... Come on, man! My only offensive option does- is 40 base power! Throw me a bone... Come on, you- you- you can't convince me that you are going to spend your turn... ...going for a second Will-O-Wisp. Well, that's- you know what, that's fine. Ziggy's not gonna do anything anyways. Did completely forget about magic bounce. Yes, I did forget about it for the third time. While I can. I can't believe that I'm using Zigzagoon. I can't believe I'm using Zigzagoon. And not just for trying to grind, because I have to. Granted, a lot of it's because I have no other option left, but still. You just gotta take out... ...to save a life. And then maybe we can still pull a victory out from this. I don't even care if the next trainer just completely wipes me out. Oh, hey! Uh, uh, I could use that attack boost. Cool, thanks. You know what? You, since you're so kind to boost my attack, I shouldn't let the kind gesture go unwarranted. Here you go. That's kind of just what I need to actually get through this in one piece. I mean, I am getting experience, I'm wasting a bit more money than I would have thought with the items and all that, but I am getting the experience. Now, would it be smart to protect, or... I'm just gonna capitalize on this attack boost for as long as I can. Because I feel like that's the only way I'm gonna survive this at this point. I do have my Shroomish in the back. But that's probably going to be doing just as much damage as the Shroomish will. At least until the burn becomes a factor. Mm, 
be kind of cool if I still had you turn on this thing, but... You growl. Don't want- I don't want Talon Swift to go down. Wait, why is it re there we go. Maybe it's just my controller, but it really didn't make any sense why I kept reverting to... the battle command when I was trying to swap Pokémon. I can at least conserve Talon Swift for this battle. If only because... only to get the experience out of this. <sighs> Attack boost would have been pretty sweet, not gonna lie, but... Rather have an alive bird than have a bird for like two more attacks. On the plus side, it doesn't really feel like this banana has any offensive options. But then again, uh, neither do I. Um, yeah, I might as well. I guess I maybe I'll protect this turn. It might take me a turn or two to actually pull all this off. And maybe right near the end we can, like, U-turn. So, Taylor may be coming out here a little sooner than I expected. <laughs> Alright, at least... at least the Leech Seed got... got off. So this battle will end eventually. Yeah, going for Growl is the right move. I just hope I don't hurt myself in confusion. Speaking of... Well, it's nice would have been to put it to sleep as well. At least we got... For one, at least ritual damage won't be our downfall. Because the Leaf Seed will probably heal Talon Swift as much as it... as the burn hurts us. My, really, my only option at this point just to... Uh, open hand until I win? Let me compare stats, cause... Sigizu Gun actually has more attack than Taylor. I think it might actually be more optimal to just keep using U-Turn. <laughs> Even though we're both burned. Maybe if, like... The bandit wants to be kind and just keep on swaggering Taylo. I said, swagger Taylo. Then maybe I swap the helping hand. Oh, this is just a fun combination. I just. This is a type of Pokemon battle <laughs> that would never make it into the main series games. This is definitely. Fan made from the heart in very strong air quotes. Well, there's Talon's boost. What that's worth. Yeah. Okay, at least I got the U turn off this time. Oh, it's resisted. Right, that could be a problem. I think I completely forgot about Leech Seed, though. It's fine. I was just about to- maybe I should use an item on Tail and Swift just so we can finish it off, but it's fine. It'll go down to the Leech Seed, if nothing else, this turn. Which, thank goodness, that revive wasn't completely in vain. Ended up using literally everyone. Every item I used actually mattered. Not what I was expecting from... Something I was gonna do casually off screen for grinding purposes, but well, I can't complain about a challenge, I suppose. Especially because it's like, I mean, I beat it. A little too, too little, too late, friend. We already got. Someone whose main gimmick in our team is priority. Uh, yeah, you're shroomish. All the stuff and that, all the stuff he, that they decided to change, and they missed that line. 